which uh, is probably just a hiccup in, in the time, but you need to do the writing and I'm yeah, sure yeah. that uh, uh, you, you will do it. I have um, two small questions. One which is uh, 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 regarding Ukraine. You have uh, helped enormously Ukraine yeah. at the beginning with Stalin. And I think we owe you a lot because uh, without uh, access to internet and without access to communication, the war would have been finished. Uh, what is your take on uh, that experience? Yeah, that, that was a... Uh... I mean, that whole situation is very complex. Um, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really, really complex. Um, um, as, as you point out, uh, Starlink did play a, play a pivotal role um, because uh, Russia had actually taken out all of the satellite communications and all of the ground communications, except for Starlink, who was the only one that was still operating. Um, and, and even today, it is still the only one that is effective at the front lines. And uh, Starlink today is the backbone of the Ukrainian military communications. Um, so, you know, I thought it was important to help out. Um, and, um, but, I, but I, I, do, I do hope for some kind of resolution soon because I, I think it's, it's, it's terribly sad that, that the flower of the youth of Ukraine and Russia, uh, who don't want to be there, um, that they're dying in trenches right now. And I, I sure hope we can figure out some means to peace soon. The last question is going back uh, to this crowd. You have a lot of startups. You have a lot of young people who want to be <laughs> successful. What are the two or three pieces of advice that you would give them? Will you have a question over there? Yes. Uh, do we have a microphone? Because Elon has accepted to take questions from the floor. A microphone. Okay. Um, I don't know what you got the mic, but please go. All right. Um, so I had a question about uh, all of your different companies and projects in the past 10 years. Uh, there's a pattern that I've seen to have identified. Short question. Every single one of your companies would work a lot better on Mars than on Earth. <laughs> like Hyperloop, it's really hard to make a big vacuum in on Earth, but on Mars it's a lot easier. Sure. Same for Tesla, uh, electric cars obviously are the only ones who can yeah. work there. And I mean, SpaceX is obvious. Um, okay, yeah. Give the mic uh, back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, me and Mars have got a room, basically. <laughs> I, I, I love Mars. <laughs> okay. Huh? No, 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 no. Now I want that you oh, give the uh, mic. I, I, I have Sorry, a guys. question. Uh, oh, was there... Okay, so what's the question? What's uh, the question? My name is Nayo, uh, co-founder and CEO at Click Help Me Make AI Tiny. So Tesla is one of our target. I would love to work with you, Alvin. Uh, and my husband is actually ex mobile who hardcore okay. like the infrastructure and MLOps. So that's okay. my <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is it okay? 
Hi, Emma. Thank you for being here. Um, Dr. Andy Javes, I'm um, the head of researcher, um, nurse, Space Nurse Psychology Lab. Uh, we are um, working uh, on the mental health to help humans to go to Mars, actually. Sure, that's great. Okay, so um, the question is, how do you think it's relevant, the mental health, for a human being? Well, I think, I think you'd want to have okay. a very good mental health on a trip to Mars. Uh, make sure everyone's safe, because uh, you don't want someone opening the airlock in the middle of the night. Um, <laughs> so I think sanity is very important uh, if you're going to Mars. <laughs> due to LLM uh, deployment. Do you think, uh, how can we integrate the use and actual use of this LLM in a non-controlled way in the, the, the current discussion uh, can you the legislation? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, just a second. No, please, <laughs> please, please answer the question. Was it about safety, safety and LLMs? Or? Sorry, I didn't hear the whole question. It's like uh, safe application of LLMs, or, or what is it? So the, the regulation uh, at the European level was conceived uh, when we did not talk about uh, LLMs. So what would you integrate in the current negotiation at the European level to integrate the, 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 the LLM? Um, and, 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 and protect from the use, no sick use, no sick no use of this. Yeah. It's, uh, sure. I, I okay, when the regulation has been created, LLM didn't exist, so what would be your suggestion regarding regulating LLM? Yeah. Well, I, I think more broadly, um, that there should be um, a regulatory uh, insight into LLMs and, and really any other form of AI. I mean, there's... I'm not sure, LLM, I, I don't think LLMs are, are the ultimate um, form of AI. Um, I mean, there's sort of an inside joke on AI, of like, who do you think will be the, the American president in 2032? Uh, diffusion uh, or Transformers? <laughs> <laughs> Those are inside jokes, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, but that like, might be a real, it might be real. Um, so, yeah. So we will have the, just a second, the two latest questions, one here and one in that, in, in that way, Jim. So, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm journalist for Forbes, and we have um, uh, every every year we have a palmarès, which is the 13 under 30. My question is, what business uh, young people should uh, focus on? Uh, sure. Uh, well, I think generally, I think it's important to focus on something. I, I, I don't. Uh, so go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I, I think. Um, you want to focus on something that you are personally passionate about, that you personally care about. Um, it's very hard to be motivated for a product that you don't really feel strongly about. Um, and it doesn't have to be high tech. It could be in any, in any field. It's just it's got to be a product that you feel is, is really needs to be there that, that, and, and something that you personally love. Um, and I would listen to your instincts on, on you know, do, do you love this product or service? Um, 
because it's, it, it's kind of impossible to know what do other people love, but if you love it, that's a good sign. Um, and um, and that, that could be small to large, any kind of, any field, it's, it's, it doesn't be, have to be high tech. But if, if you don't love, if you, if you don't really love the product that you're making, if you can't, like a good test would be that you can't wait for this product to be on the market. Mm. That, and if that's the case, you're, you're going in the right direction. Awesome. Right. The last question, we have, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. we have the French. No, no, it's not what I'm talking We have a French saying, which is, la vérité sort de vous, ses enfants. Il ne va pas. When do, you, when do you think that we will be able to start uh, testing uh, in our virtual world, Victoria VR? Sure. Well, um, so, so Neuralink is, um, first of all, I, I want to assure everyone who may be worried about Neuralink yeah. that um, you will see uh, Neuralink is going to be a fairly slow process because anything that's done in humans, it's very slow. So sometimes people think that this, this suddenly we're going to be chipping everyone's head and then before they know it, everyone's connected to the internet and then we're in trouble um, with your brain. Um, so it's going to happen very slowly. Uh, hopefully later this year we'll do our first uh, human uh, device implantation and this will be for, for someone that has uh, sort of tetraplegic, quadriplegic, um, does not have, it has lost the connection from their, their brain to their body. Um, and we, we think we should be able to, that person will be able to uh, communicate uh, as fast as someone who has a fully functional body. Um, so that's going to be a big deal. And we, and we see a path beyond that uh, to actually transfer the signals from the motor cortex of the brain to pass the injury in the spinal cord and actually um, enable someone's body to be used again. So um, essentially shunting the signals past the broken point um, and, uh, and restore potentially full, full body um, use to someone that has uh, completely lost the connection. And I mean, you can imagine like if say Stephen Hawking were alive today, what a profound change that would be. Um, and um, so that's our first application. And uh, if, if uh, it's, it's looking like that, after the first case will be later this year. Excellent. Bravo!